Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I am here with our February 27th new releases. Let's go ahead and get into it. We have two new kits this week and then we have some foil items. These foil items are Easter and kind of spring. I try to not do too many like Easter specific ones. Um, kind of snuck up on me. I have mentioned a couple times that Easter is in March this year, um, but yet it still managed to kind of like sneak up on me. So, but it's March 31st, and so I think that gives you plenty of time to receive these since um, our shipping time is pretty good lately, I feel like. Um, so yeah, let's get start with the foil stuff first. Um, we're going to start with these sheets, the quarter size ones first. Um, like I said, they are kind of like le Easter leaning, but there are some definitely like super versatile items that could be used all throughout spring and summer. Um, but this one's definitely Easter. We have Easter eggs. So you have some egg dividers and some baskets and just some eggs in general. Here are some bunny dividers. I feel like you could use these all throughout spring. You don't have to use this, sorry, through Easter. Um, a couple of them do have eggs technically, but I feel like you could either just use the egg anyway, and I feel like even if it's not an Easter spread, it's still cute, or you could just cut the egg out and just use like a shorter version of the bunny. It's up to you, but I think these are so freaking cute. Love them. Next we have some bunnies. There's a variety of sizes on the sheet. But tons of cute little bunnies. I want to use these. I feel like anytime where I would use like a watercolor like grass, I would want to throw bunnies on it. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, here we have some Easter Cluster Deco. Um, this is very Easter leaning. There's eggs, there's little chicks, there's bunnies, there's carrots. Um, very springy, but also very Eastery. So there is that. Next, we have some bird cages. So these can really be used anytime, actually. I don't even think they need to be spring. May have to um, re release it and re. Um, redo the skew to be more of like a permanent item but here we have the bird cages and then we have the spring fields which are my favorite excuse me bill okay sorry if you can hear that um he is definitely the loudest dang person here i feel like anyway so next we have the spring fields my favorite sheet love these you have with the bunnies and without the bunnies as option. I freaking love these. I will use these anytime that I get a chance to. Even if you don't want to use it like as the full field, this would make really, really, really pretty cluster deco. You could just like cut out individual little like sprigs based on how you might need it. I think it's so dang cute. I love her. Um, and then for the washi sheets, um, we have the eggs, just some Easter egg washi, which matches those Easter egg dividers that was on that first sheet over there. Ooh, I'm yawning. Um, and then, um, of course, we had to do the spring field washi, so you get with the bunnies and without the bunnies here. And I love her. She's so cute. I need to find a way to use this in all the foil colors in my spreads this year because I love her. Anyway, <laughs> so now that we've gotten a lot out of the way, um, those are part of our seasonal foil, so you can pick them up for an additional 10% off this week, um, but they'll be up for quite some time too. So. Even if you don't plan on planning your Easter spread for quite some time from now, um, those will still be available a little bit later too. So, 
sorry, there is something on my nail, and now, oh no, it's fine, everything's fine, everything's fine, okay, um, let's get into the kits, let's start with parts, I don't know, I feel like this is the one that I made the listings for when I made the listings, so it just makes sense for me to do park first. I kind of have like that, you know what I'm talking about where, well, of course you know what I'm talking about where I haven't even described it yet, but you know when you have like that extra skin next to your nail and you pull it and then it just becomes like an endless peel of skin? And then it hurts so bad, I'm like trying not to peel it, but I'm trying to like also like push it down so I don't play with it. <sighs> anyway, um, so here is Park. It is in gold foil. Both kits are in gold foil this week. The quote says, here comes the sun. Has very pretty white flowers, lots of like pinkies and green colors. So pretty. I love the gold foil with it. You have a little picnic scene here, this little creek with some clouds. Here's like, this is more like uh, like charcuterie, not even like charcuterie, just like the spread of food. And then this is like the kind of like a picnic table scene where you have these little falling petals with the branch. And then you have this little bike over here as well. And then here, I don't know why I skipped this box. You have your little teacup with the spoon and a little like face. Here is the boxes page. Like I said, you get green, two different types of pinky peachy colors, and then this is like a yellowish green color. It's very much a different color palette than what we normally do, I feel like, but I feel like it's super fun. Um, here is the functional page, so you have your headers. All three sets um, and your watercolor shapes, the torn paper, and then some extra little like journaling style boxes. For the bottom washi, you have those really pretty florals, and then you have this really pretty kind of like petal washi in the thin washi. You have your like skinny headers, the lace, some deco, and the date covers. I don't know why I'm explaining the format. Like, you have never seen the format before, but if you're new here for some reason, um, I guess that helps you out. Um, so yeah, that is the washi page. I can't stop yawning. Um, but next we have the Park Foil Sampler. Showing it to you in gold, because the kit is in gold, but as usual, you can pick it up in all the different foil colors. Same applies to the Easter sheets. You have the clouds, some tree branches, some like little tea type of items that kind of go with that tea full box. Here are some, these are like cloud clusters, and these are more like individual clouds, and then some kites. Oh, I didn't organize my add-ons how I normally do. That's fine. Uh, here is the deco add-on. The bike is facing the other direction too, so you can use both in your spread without it feeling like a little too redundant, but it's up to you. Here is the floral deco add-on. These florals are a little wild. I will definitely say that. Um, they're like not your traditional shaped florals. We're back to being loud. And, but they're, so they're kind of branchy. Um, but I still, they just went really well with the art. So that's what we're working with. Here is the alcohol ink swatch add-on. This is in the white option. And then here is the journal add-on. And for the journal add-on, you do get the stamps that have that um, little food spread scene and then the little creek scene. And then here's some little flower clip art. So that is everything for the park kit. I feel like the listing photos for this make this kit look more 
I don't want to say neon-ish, but it does make it look a lot brighter than it is in person. This is actually like, um, like the green is a little bright, but I feel like it's a little bit more muted than how it comes off in the listing pictures. Or at least when I was making the listings, I felt like it wasn't looking super true to how I feel like it actually looks in person. Um, so, um, yeah. I don't know. I don't even know if you can tell here. I have brightness all the way up already. I feel like sometimes the red, like, because we show where the cuts are, so you can kind of know, like, where the sticker is being cut. I feel like the red kind of sometimes throws the way greens look off. Um, especially here, since the colors are so light, that I feel like the red is, like, really obvious in the picture, so it makes the colors look a little off. So, but I think like here where obviously the cuts are cuts, they're not red. You can see better how pretty it is. Anyway, love her. On to Simplicity, which I battled with wanting to do this in gold or rose gold. And I've been having such a rough time with rose gold the past couple weeks. I feel like every single time I want to do rose gold, I'm worried that it's going to like I don't know. I don't want to say it's going to make the kit fall because obviously making it rose gold doesn't change the contents of the kit, but I just worry that like maybe if I do rose gold, like you guys won't like it as much as if I would have done it in gold. This is one of those kits where I really, really, really was considering rose gold, especially because this is like a peachy colorway and the May, not May, gosh, why am I saying May? Um, the January mystery was like a peachy, well, it's actually peach themed, um, and that one was gold, so I was considering doing this in rose gold, but I really do feel like golden tones really match peachy tones really, really well, but I mean, rose gold also does too, so I don't know. Um, let me know what you think about spring and summer kits and rose gold. Um, I feel like I've shied away from them if I'm like thinking about it. But I'll try my best to do some rose gold, if that is what you guys like. Anyway, here's the simplicity kit. You have some little flower petals. The quote says there's beauty in simplicity. There's a little fence here, a wagon, this little doorway with some foiled like string lights, and this um, path with these really beautiful trees. I love the like foliage around this. Very pretty. It's... Um, Almost making me feel like a sunset, but not quite. Um, here is the boxes page. You can definitely see all the peachy colors here. I will say a big difference between this and the January Mystery is that January Mystery, I'm pretty sure I pulled green in. Yeah, I did pull green in. So um, the boxes had greens, whereas this is a little bit more monotone-ish. I feel like you can like hear Bill very, very, very loudly right now. I don't know why he's talking so loud after I told him that I'm filming. Anyway, so <laughs> going from the boxes page, here's the functional page. Here are the headers. And there's these hearts. I think he's explaining something going wrong to someone right now. Love it when things go wrong. Floral headers and the lace. Then we have the watercolor shapes and the torn paper. Why am I explaining the kit format again? Whatever. It's peachy vibes. It's cute. I love her. <laughs> I think I'm just trying to talk to fill in the space so that you don't hear Bill as much. <laughs> um, but here are the this is the bottom washi with the floral and then the kind of like swirly heart situation. Love her, super cute. Then we have some headers and you can, um, I'm trying to stop myself from describing the kit format still. I don't know why that's my thing today, but I really love the gold with these colors. So I'm actually really glad that I picked gold for this, but I do feel like rose gold could have been a good contender too. Anyway, 
Um, and then you have like this color for the headers. I think it's that second color here that's kind of like more on the pinky side. And then all the deco with that food looks so yummy. Don't know what it is, but I'm eating it. And then we have this little flower basket too with a watering can, a lantern, some, a candle, and then um, like this decorated wheel type of thing. Here is the foil add-on. So we have the Swirly Hearts washi and dividers. You have some bees with some Swirly Hearts. Um, here are those like string lights that were in the corner of that full box. You have some flowers and then um, some kind of like that like build your own like front door scene situation where you have like the doors and the trees and like the plants and stuff which goes really well I feel like with like this front door scene that was on the full boxes so yeah that is the foil add-on and then we have the alcohol ink swatch add-on the deco add-on um, this one has this really pretty little like farmers market stand scene thing love her in this hat oh, love that hat and another bunny look how cute she is anyway here are the florals these are so pretty they're like really realistic looking compared to some of the other flowers we do sometimes that I feel like are a little bit more abstract, but these are really, really pretty. Here is the journal add-on with stamps, which have those two really pretty scenes from before in the flower, not flowers. We have some greenery here. This is my favorite little journal box of all time. Don't know why, but she is. Is that all the add-ons? Oh yeah, because it's out of order. <laughs> well, I feel like it's out of order than when I normally put it in order, so it makes me feel like that wasn't all of them. But that is everything that I have for you guys this week. I'm so sorry if I'm like a little discombobulated today. I think Bill being loud is throwing me off, and then also being a little tired is not ideal. But yeah, that is everything. Um, as usual, don't forget, I feel like a broken record, but I just want to remind you guys every time that these are an additional 10% off through Sunday night. Um, so definitely check them out then if that, if you already know that you want to pick some of this stuff up, otherwise everything will be in the shop for longer than that. The kits especially, and then these foil sheets are seasonal foils, so they'll be up at least for a chunk of time. Um. But yeah, let me know which of the new releases is your favorite. And I think that is everything that I have to share with you. Um, the signups for March Mystery are open now. So if you missed February, I'm sorry. Um, but those are open now. The mood board will be coming in the next week or two. I don't know. I don't want to promise anything for the mood board. So the mood board will come when it comes. Um, sometimes I feel like... Um, I just want to like make sure that everything is good with the mood board. I don't want to like rush it just for the sake of getting it up. So patience. Um, but yeah, the mood board will be up at some point before the signups close. So definitely check that out. Oh, also if you are a decorative kit subscriber, which I mean, yeah, if you are a decorative kit subscriber, we did add washi paper as an option for the decorative kit because right now we have the weekly subscription, which is like, I don't know why I'm plugging the subscription. I don't even have the mood board on the site, but the weekly subscription is like basically all of this, like not this kit, but in terms of format, you get like these, the four pages of the kit, you get a foil sheet, you get your alcohol ink swatches on transparent, and then you get the other three pages as well. I call the add-ons for $25 a month if you haven't already checked it out. Um, but then we also have our decorative sub, which has um, vellum and 
12 sheets of um, stickers that like are the decorative format that we normally do. Anyway, we all got the decorative sub already in white or transparent, but now you can pick it up in washi. If you're not sure if you want washi or not, and you're already subscribed, just wait until you receive your February mystery because we are, at least I'm pretty sure that we're including a sheet of the washi paper in all the decorative subs. Don't hold me to that, but I'm pretty sure that we are. Um, so you'll be able to check out the washi paper then if you haven't checked it out already. Um, but yeah, that is now an option on the site if you were thinking of subscribing or if you're already subscribed. If you're already subscribed to the decorative and you want to switch to washi, just shoot me an email at hello at sadiesdecorative.com and we'll switch you over to it. Um, but otherwise, it's like open for signups right now. So go ahead and check that out. Anyways, I'm done rambling now. I will let you go. Enjoy the rest of your day. Um, and yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye.